he goes. Down he goes. You got him, bud. What a shot. That's awesome. Nice job, Beth. Oh, wow. My heart's pounding. Dude. <laughs> oh, wow. Dude. You just shot a monster deer. That's awesome. Some of that, man. Great job, buddy. That's oh, awesome. man. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. That's Holy cow. What do you think? Wow. What do you think of that, Bob? What a We're good with deer. He's pretty, yep. pretty sickly, man. He's oh, wow. <laughs> wow. He's got some character. That's a nice one. Evan, congratulations. Look at me, one. He's definitely one of the better ones. <laughs> what a shot. He came out perfect. Yeah. That was cool. You know, a lot of people look at hunting as a sport or as a way to put food on the table. But for some of us, it's more than that. It's a way of life. It's an identity. Hunting is who we are. The direction this world is going, there ain't a, too many people that I look up to anymore. But most of the ones I do look up to are hunters. And one of those people is 11-year-old Evan Renicky. Now, Evan, at 11 years old, has done more hunting and killed more animals than most adults I know that call themselves hunters. I know guys that have been hunting 50 years and don't have as many deer under their belt as Evan has. And what he's accomplished and what he's went through and the attitude that he keeps is impressive. One day, Evan was diagnosed with brain cancer and they found a massive tumor in his, in his brain and they had to do immediate surgery and the outcome didn't look good but despite all odds Evan was able to come out of it okay he went through a year of chemotherapy radiation therapy not to mention you know the surgeries and stuff and I was really impressed following his story to see the pictures of him smiling the glow in his eyes and what got Evan through his ordeal with cancer at 11 years old was that he's a hunter. He just dreamed of getting back into the woods. He focused on his hunting. And I'm glad to say Evan's back in the woods, back hunting. He had his final dose of chemotherapy and he's gonna be just fine. He shot two deer this year. First he got a spiked buck in velvet with his bow and then he got a nice rack buck with his gun. A former linesman for the Detroit Lions named Tony Semple put together the Tony Semple Foundation for Hope, which is an organization that grants kids with cancer or other life-altering conditions dream hunts. Evan was granted such a hunt at Cedar Hollow Ranch in Grayling, Michigan. Evan was granted this hunt in the middle of his struggles. And this hunt really gave him the motivation and the help to get through his struggles. It gave him the renewed strength he needed to keep going. Deeper in the saddle, get stopped. Can you see him through your scope? Nice shot, buddy. Great job. Man. Watch him go. Yeah, watch, watch him go. Watch, watch him. him. There he goes. Down he goes. Down he goes. Oh. You got him, bud. What a shot. Oh, that's awesome. Nice job, Ev. Oh, wow. My heart's pounding. Dude. Oh, wow. Dude. You just had a monster deer. That's awesome. Some of that, man. Great job, buddy. That's oh, awesome. man. Thank you so much. Oh, my God.
That's Holy cow. Think, what do you think, do you think wow. Of, what do you think of that bar? What a We're good with deer. Him, he's pretty, safe. Yep. pretty sickly, man. He's oh, got, wow. <laughs> wow. He's got some character. That's a nice one. Evan, congratulations. Look at him, Wilan. He's definitely one of the better ones. <laughs> what a shot. He came out perfect. Yeah. That was cool. That was good. I'm looking forward to see Evan shoot many, many, many more deer and spend much more time in the woods. And I just wanted to give Evan a shout out because he's been such a brave person in handling this, going about it. And uh, I just think we need more hunters in this world like Evan. Keep fighting, keep working, and keep hunting, Evan.